Hello Year 7, it's Miss Redmond again with another summary PowerPoint for the particles topic. This one is called What is Diffusion? It's all about diffusion. Your learning journey is at the bottom. Feel free to pause the PowerPoint now and write that down if you would like to. And your do now question is, what is the worst thing you have ever smelled? I'm sure you've got some really good examples. And the second part of that question is, how did the smell get from your get to your nose from the source? That's what this lesson is all about. So the smell got to your nose by a process called diffusion. First task, describe how the particles are arranged in a gas. If you're confident to do this already, pause the PowerPoint now and write down your ideas. If you need a bit more structure, just keep watching. So here are some smaller questions to break down this big one. How much space is between them? How much space is between the particles in a gas? Are they in a pattern or are they random? And are they moving or are they vibrating on the spot? So if that's enough structure for you, pause the PowerPoint and write down your ideas. All right, so here are the answers. There are lots of space between the particles in a gas. They are arranged randomly. There's no pattern to them because they're moving all the time in all directions. So if you introduce some smell particles to a gas, what happens to them? Pause the PowerPoint and write down your ideas. All right. Here is a gap fill task to describe what happens to smell particles in a gas. So pause the PowerPoint now and try to complete this uh, gap fill and the next slide will be the answers. So here are the answers. The smell particles move around randomly and mix with the air particles spreading out. This process is called diffusion. This also happens in liquids because in a liquid state, particles also move around. Okay, here's a table about the speed of diffusion. So on the left, we've got diffusion happens slower and on the right, we've got diffusion happens faster. So diffusion happens slower at lower temperatures it happens slower with bigger particles and it happens slower in the liquid state. So try and copy this table and predict what the other side is going to be. So if diffusion happens slower at lower temperatures, at what kind of temperatures will diffusion happen faster? If it happens slower with bigger particles, what kind of particles will it happen faster with? If it happens slower in the liquid state, what state might it happen faster? And your extension is to use the particle model to explain why. I'll do the answers in just a moment. So pause the PowerPoint while you write down your ideas. So diffusion happens faster at higher temperatures and with smaller particles and it happens faster in the gas state than in the liquid state. So the next slide is going to give us our extension answers. Diffusion happens faster at higher temperatures because the particles have more energy and are moving around faster, meaning they bump into and move the smell particles more often. Diffusion happens faster to smaller particles because it takes less energy or force to move them. And diffusion happens faster in the gas state because there's more space between the particles and because the particles are moving faster than they are in the liquid. Here's a little true or false game. So 
pause the PowerPoint now, write down these statements and then write down whether you think they're true or false and the next slide will be the answers. So substances diffuse faster in liquids, false, they actually diffuse faster in gases. If you increase the temperature, substances will diffuse faster. True, because those particles are moving around faster. The bigger the particles, the faster diffusion happens. False, bigger particles require more energy to move them. Put ink in water and leave it alone and it will not diffuse. False, it will diffuse on its own because the water particles are moving around all the time. Cold substances diffuse slower than hot substances. True, because the particles in the cold substance are moving a lot slower than in the hot substance. This is an experiment which if you've been in school you will have done or seen and it's showing that diffusion happens faster in hot water than in cold water. So on the left you've got a beaker of hot water with some granules of a substance called potassium permanganate. Sometimes you'll see that called potassium manganate, but I'm just used to calling it permanganate. And on the right, you've got a beaker of cold water with the same type of crystals and hopefully the same quantity. And you can see that diffusion has happened a lot faster in the hot water beaker than in the cold one. And that is because of what we've talked about previously. The particles in the hot water are moving around a lot more quickly than they are in the cold water. There's a video link below the picture where you can see this actually happening. All right, next task. Using the particle model, explain why the potassium permanganate diffused faster in the hot water. So you've got a lot of sentences starters there. Pause the PowerPoint now, write down the sentence starters and then try to complete them. The next slide will be the answers. Answers. The particles in the hot water have more energy so they move faster. The particles in cold water have less energy so they move slower. This means that the potassium permanganate particles spread out faster in the hot water than in the cold water. Okay, diffusion happens faster when the water is hotter, as we've just discussed. How might this affect water samples that are collected near to a dead body? So pause the PowerPoint now and write down your ideas and I'll give you some answers. All right, so water particles might contain more chemicals from the body because they've been able to diffuse into the water more quickly. Or if taken after a longer period, period of time, they may contain less because the chemicals have diffused away into the rest of the water. Summary. Diffusion is the random mixing of particles leading to spreading out from an area of high concentration to a low concentration. The following cause diffusion to happen faster. Increasing temperature. Particles move faster, so bump into and move diffused particles faster. Whether that's smell or potassium permanganate or something else. Smaller particle size. Smaller particles need less energy or force to move and so move quicker. Gas state rather than liquid. In gases, there is more space between the particles and they're moving faster. So obviously the opposite of each of those things cause diffusion to happen slower. Thank you very much for listening and I will speak to you next time.